Here we are at another road traffic noise project. If you've ever wanted to know how to reduce noise entering your roof, keep watching. So we've already soundproofed the main part of the house, getting the client to a stage where they can look out the window, see the cars go past and not hear them. This is the extension part of the property and we've designed it with the architect using products and materials that does not make noise worse. Here we've used 7.3 Newton concrete blocks with 100mm cavity, 75mm RW3 at 60kg per metre cubed and then another 7.3 Newton concrete block and we've used that through the main walls of the house. Now we've banned three particular types of product from site and that be aerated blocks, rigid insulation and the use of dot and dab plasterboard technique. The reason we've banned those three products is because we find that they channel and make noise worse, especially road traffic noise. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to reduce road traffic noise entering the roof. So if you have a bedroom or an extension where you need to stop road traffic noise or any kind of environmental noise entering the roof, this video is gonna show you what materials to use to reduce that noise entering your bedroom. So the first step in our road traffic noise system is to insulate the entire ceiling with the RW3 rock wall product. Now we're gonna insulate the joist. Now these are 6p2 joists and we're gonna insulate it, bringing it flush with the underside of the joist, leaving a 50 mil air gap between the roofing felt and the RW3. The next step after that is to seal the whole ceiling with what's called a product called Tech Sound. And we're gonna uh, seal the whole roof with Tech Sound 5kg. Now that will create an airtight seal across the entire roof. Now there's some other products that we're gonna use in our road traffic noise system, such as resilient bars, TLX silver, as well as a, a few layers of 15 mil sound block board. Here we've installed the first layer of the 15 mil sound block board. I'm not sure if you can see these pencil lines here, but this shows where the resilient bars sit behind the system. It's very important to, uh, to scribe pencil lines to, to the board both where the resilient bars are and where those battens are behind. Because what you don't want to do is you don't want to put a, a, a drywall screw through the board, through the resilient bar and into the batten behind through there because you would compromise the system. Now we've installed the 15 mil sound block board using 32 uh, mil drywall screws um, and we sealed up all the joints. The next layer, we're gonna use a 50 mil drywall screw, uh, but we will stagger the joins, giving that, and, and all the screw heads will be sealed up with, with acoustic sealant for that airtight seal. So I hope this little video has helped. You can find a link to all the products and materials we've used in the description here below. And that's it for part one. Join us on part two where we look at the fixes and fittings and that all important soundproofing result.